two, three, four. Wine videos, and this is your wine of the week. We're gonna do a little game of charades. What does this mean? It means smoke and gamble. <laughs> and uh, that's what we got here today. We'll just pop off the old rock star. Bam! And we got a wine from a really, really cool producer here uh, called. But up, but up, but up. Can you read that? Kind of hard because it's aluminum label which is really cool smoke and gamble that's right the two things that you want your kids to do smoke and gamble <laughs> you know morals aside it's actually kind of a cool name with a cool label it's got that you know rustic kind of uh, approach to it this is a 2010 um, blend of uh, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, with uh, Merlot in it. Uh, so it's your typical Bordeaux blend. Uh, it, it's again um, 49 actually 0.5% Merlot. So most Merlot, sorry about that, 37.2 Cab Franc and 13.3 Cabernet Sauvignon. I love when they put the facts on the back of the bottle. You don't have to try and guess or figure it out. That's so cool. You know, facts are everything in life, you know? Uh, so that's really neat. You know exactly what you're getting into. This is like a right bank of Bordeaux. So right bank in, in France, in Bordeaux, favors Merlot. Famous uh, chateaus like Chateau Le Pin and uh, Petrus. So, um, you know, that's kind of neat. Uh, and this has got Cabernet Franc, which brings that nice leafy tobacco note. Uh, and Cabernet Sauvignon, which gives it the backbone in that um, that uh, dark fruit cassis, um, you know, blackberry, black currant flavor. And uh, I gotta tell you that this wine is named perfect because it does have a smokiness to it. And if you've never smelt the inside of a cigar box, okay, cedar, Go get yourself a cigar box. This is a Cohiba box given to me by a friend. Uh, and I'm telling you, you, you gotta smell it because it smells awesome. It smells like smoky cedar tobacco. So it's awesome. Uh, that is exactly what this wine smells like. So I don't know, maybe they, they, you know, they started making the wines and they said, damn, you know, that smells like smoke. Uh, I don't know where the gamble comes from. That is just like badass, right? It's a badass wine. So. But it definitely has a smoky, cedary uh, ness to it. So, a little badass wine for you. Nice tannin, smoky. You know what? Let's just taste the thing. Let's taste it together. Remember, people, you can buy these on the site. Drop stops come in very handy when you want to pop and pour a bottle of wine. And there's not too many wines out there that are pop and pour wines. I usually advocate uh, that you have to decant your wines. Uh, I'm a huge believer in that. And honestly, once you start doing it, you'll never just pop and pour. You'll always decant for about an hour because it just makes the wine that much smoother and more enjoyable to drink. But this is one of those special wines that you can just pop you know, and pour. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Because we're feeling badass. 
we're drinking a badass wine. So uh, here we go. And this is from Port Dover. <laughs> so it's called Port Dover Vineyards, uh, which is really cool because Port Dover is not a wine appellation that's recognized. Uh, it's not really anything that people think of where you grow wine, but it's in the Niagara region. Uh, uh, over by Lake Erie, so I guess it's close to uh, Lake Erie North Shore, which is in Appalachian. Um, so let's just pour this sucker into the Venturi. And we're gonna accelerate it. But uh, I'm telling you, you don't even have to do this. This is a pop and pour wine, which you rarely find these days. 2010 uh, was a really hot vintage, so it made some killer wines in Niagara. See, 2010. A uh, very hot, dry year, perfect for uh, Bordeaux varietals, uh, perfect growing conditions. So I'll give you a color shot there. Really, really nice color. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. That's uh, Bordeaux color at its finest right there. Nice garnet. Uh, we can call this a claret like the Brits do. Perfect claret, you know. Wow, is that awesome? Stinky in every way. Um, yeah, you get a huge manure, soily, leather, horse, farm uh, nose to it. It really reminds me of Bordeaux. It's got a little bit of spiciness uh, in it. Calms down a bit into like a weird, funky, burnt sugar nose. Yeah, a little bit of sourness, so really complex on the nose, I love it, but uh, what you do get is a woodsy, woodsy cedary tobacco -ness. So you take wood, cedar, tobacco, farm poop, horse, hair, <laughs> um, leather, big time leather, you take a, like a leather, brand new leather belt, smell it, bite it. Le very leathery, actually. Uh, maybe more leather than cedar. And uh, campfire, so that smokiness. So the smoke and gamble. I love the label. I love that piece of aluminum they put on there. Really kind of cool. It says the art of fine harvest, BQA Ontario. So BQA, all Ontario grown grapes right there in the smoke and gamble. Let's read the back here while I'm swirling and let it open a little bit. Our 2010 Cabrillot exudes brilliance. Merlot is the star in this blend. Okay, so here's Merlot, 49.5%, not 50. Uh, Merlot is the star, leading a smokiness and elegant wine, which is harmonized by backbone of Cabernet Franc and the brute force of Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, so there you go, yeah, you know, the Cab is the king, right, the brute. Uh, Cab Franc always gives it the aromatics. Uh, and some flavor complexity and Merlot usually makes it soft, so we'll see how this is soft on the palate. You can really smell the Cap Franc in there. Mmm. Mmm. See on the nose, you didn't pick up Merlot qualities like that mocha chocolate you pick up the cat front but on the palate it's very smooth wow this is silky silky smooth it's like pinot noir smooth so that's where the uh, the true colors of merlot shine really silky <laughs> it's like silk literally it's like silk in your mouth but with all those great complexities chocolate and leather on the palate mm. That is so smooth. Mmm, that's a delicious wine. Mocha, cherry, chocolate, a little bit of sourness, just a hint of sourness and smokiness on the finish. Very long finish, still tasting it. This is a very complex, deliciously soft, elegant wine. It's only $20, and um, I think I might just go have to buy a case of that. Uh, I'm not going to Port Dover, but it's at the LCBO, so I'm going to get a case of the Smoking Gamble, 2010. That's amazing. This is your wine of the week. Cheers.
down, it's the 